APIs or application programming interfaces have become a backbone of modern software development processes. They provide a way for different applications or services to communicate and share data. API testing is the process of evaluating these interfaces to ensure they function correctly, perform efficiently, and meet the requirements of the applications that they serve. As APIs continue to play an increased pivotal role in the software development process, the tools that we use to test them become more and more important. The link to download and research all these tools further will be in the description box below, as well as the first pinned comment. So now let's dive into different API tools and then go through their pros and cons to see which will be best for you and your team. If you're new here, my name is The Test Lead and I make videos to help you on your software testing journey, be it manual or automation, performance, whatever you're studying or trying to transition to, my job is to help you with that process. Now, back to our topic. First, we have Postman. Postman is personally something I use every day. Postman has a nice GUI and interface where you can test different APIs without having to know how to actually code, which is why Postman is number one. Whether you're a manual or automation tester, you can use Postman efficiently and effectively. Postman is a user-friendly, all-in-one API testing tool with a rich feature set. It offers collaboration capabilities, automation scripting, and a vast library of pre-built requests. With the free version, you get a lot of functionality and usability. However, the cons. Some key features are hidden behind a paywall. So you have to pay or subscribe to their services to actually access them. But honestly speaking, the free version, if you have a small team, could be suffice. Next, we have Rest Assured. This is mainly Java-based. For C Sharp, we have Rest Sharp. But for right now, let's focus on Rest Assured. The pros. Rest Assured is a Java-based library for API testing. It integrates well with popular testing frameworks like TestNG and JUnit. Now for the cons. This is limited to just Java projects because it's built into your actual code for your testing. Next we have SOAP UI. The pros of SOAP UI is that it's a comprehensive API testing tool that supports both REST and SOAP services. It has user-friendly interfaces and supports scripting for advanced scenarios. Just like with other tools, the free version has its limitations. And to get the full use, you gotta go for the paid version. Also, this tool can be very resource intensive for your machine. Next, we have Karate. Karate is a tool for API testing and automation using a simplified domain-specific language. It's easy to learn and suitable for both beginners and experienced testers. Now for the cons, because it's not as popular as other tools and libraries, the user community for support is a lot smaller. And finally, Apogee. Apogee by Google Cloud offers a full API lifecycle management solution, including robust API testing capabilities. It provides comprehensive analytics and security features. Now for the cons. It's designed for enterprise level or higher level API testing. So for smaller projects, it may be overkill. Picking your tool or framework or a library for API testing is very important. It's important to do your research 
before committing to a tool. So maybe you saw a few that you liked. Try it out, test it, see the learning curve, and see if it's best for you and your team. If you feel there's a tool or a library that I left out on this list, comment it below and we can discuss it. If you need help on your software testing journey, check out my book, QA Must Know Vocabulary, as well as my courses available on my website. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, leave them below. And most importantly, don't forget this, learn something new today.